three amazing fruits that can help activate your own stem cells that can help you regenerate from the inside out and repair your body. These fruits are black raspberries, blueberries, strawberries. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're diving into something truly incredible. Did you know there are specific fruits that can actually help regrow stem cells and repair the body? Yes, you heard that right. We're talking about powerful healing fruits that can supercharge your health from the inside out. And we're turning to none other than Dr. William Liam Lai, a world-renowned physician and scientist, to guide us on this journey. So, stick around, because today we're counting down the top three amazing fruits that can regrow stem cells and repair the body. Now, before we get into the top fruits that can help regrow stem cells, let's take a moment to understand what stem cells actually are and why they're so important. Stem cells are like the building blocks of your body. They have the incredible ability to transform into many different types of cells, whether it's muscle, skin, heart cells, or even brain cells. You got about 70 million extra one of these. Uh, and where do we store them? We store them in our bone marrow. That's actually the, the, the stuff that's inside the hollow of our bone. They're stored in our body fat, okay? Uh, they are actually stored in our skin. And they're stored in different organs as well. Even in a heart, we best should be able to find heart stem cells. Stem cells are vital for healing and repairing the body because they can regenerate damaged tissues and organs. When your body is injured, stem cells rush to the site to help repair and replace the damaged cells. This process is key for maintaining your health and longevity. The more we can support our body's stem cell activity, the better we can heal, recover, and stay youthful. A stem cell is a human cell. You got them. I've got them that actually is pluripotent. What that means is that it's a cell that can turn into any other kind of cell, kind of like a baby cell, that has the capability of regenerating into other tissue. And we're all made of these. In fact, when your dad's sperm met your mom's egg, the ball of cells that was a future you were all stem cells because you didn't have a face, you didn't have a, a leg, you didn't have a toenail. All those things had to be formed out of stem cells. All right. And by the time we're born and our bodies have been formed, so this is nine months of pregnancy, we have extra stem cells that are around. Like Mother Nature's really smart. We didn't run out of stem cells before we were born. We had some extra overage. Okay. Uh, some of them are in the uh, umbilical cord uh, and, and uh, basically got about seven million, 70 million extra stem cells. Um, uh, and those extra stem cells are stored in the body of the baby. And, uh, and we carry them all throughout our lives. And these are the cells that help to regenerate our body when we actually need them to be regenerated. So when Dr. William Lai talks about foods like fruits that can stimulate stem cell activity, he's referring to how certain compounds in these fruits can activate your body's natural healing abilities. Imagine being able to support your body's regeneration just by eating the right fruits amazing, right? There are foods foods that can be used as medicine to um, prompt your stem cells to come out and do more than what they would normally do. So in other words, foods as medicine can actually activate your body's regenerative stem cell health defense system to be able to heal you more from the inside out. All right. So let's talk about um, the foods, the high food fruits that can actually do this. That's pretty amazing. Black raspberries. So the first fruit is black raspberries. First on our list of incredible fruits is the black raspberry. And no, this isn't your typical berry. Dr. William Lee emphasizes that black raspberries are nutritional powerhouses with one of the highest concentrations of antioxidants among all fruits. These antioxidants help protect your cells from oxidative stress, which is key to allowing stem cells to do their job in repairing damaged tissues. If you haven't heard about black raspberry, basically it's a regular raspberry except that it's a dark color. It's a special variety. And that dark color is due to the huge amount of anthocyanins. That's the bioactive. It's a natural dye. It's the same dye that makes blackberries black, all right? And blueberries blue. Makes the uh, raspberry really dark. It's got a lactic acid, a lash of tannins, anthocyanins, and black raspberries. And researchers in Korea have actually been studying the effects of eating black raspberries in people who have metabolic syndrome, right? So... Let me just um, tell you what my metabolic syndrome is. This is actually a kind of a, a situation where you have all the makings that could lead you towards diabetes eventually. High blood pressure, high blood sugar, high blood cholesterol, 
and a large waist size, right? And the waist size gets big because the inside the tube of your body is fat that can actually grow. And when you're growing a lot of extra body fat, visceral fat, it stretches it out, the tube out from the inside out. And that's why you gotta you're, you're, you have to let out an extra um, a hole in your belt because your waist has expanded, all right? So this is actually metabolic syndrome. And what these researchers did is they drew uh, blood uh, from their subjects at the beginning of the study, and then they gave everyone black raspberry powder. It's just basically dried ra black raspberries uh, ground up every single day to consume for 12 weeks, all right? And another group was actually given a placebo to be able to compare. And the results after 12 weeks show that those people who were eating the black raspberry powder had a 30% increase in the number of stem cells they had in their blood. Meaning that eating the black raspberries recruited more stem cells into their bloodstream. And these blood uh, these uh, stem cells actually go on to uh, repair uh, organs uh, and repair tissue that might be uh, in need, uh, damage and in need of repair in metabolic syndrome, right? Black raspberries are especially known for their high levels of anthocyanins, which promote the regeneration of healthy cells. This means they can play a major role in preventing disease, supporting immune function, and even helping in the repair of vital organs, including the heart and lungs. And that's really amazing. Eating black raspberries increased um, the number of stem cells in blood by 30%. Now, what about the people getting the placebo? like no black raspberries. Turns out that those people had a 35% decrease in the number of stem cells uh, in their bloodstream, completely the other direction. So one group had 30% increase, the other uh, group had a 35% decrease. That's a 65% difference, gap, delta, between uh, the, the impact of eating black raspberries. And um, basically, metabolic syndrome damages your tissue, damages your blood vessels, damages your organ, like your liver. And so it just shows you that you can actually augment the number of stem cells in your bloodstream to do what they do best, which is actually um, help to repair you from the inside out. Now, the other thing that they found is that people who are eating black raspberry had better resiliency of their blood vessels. And you got 60,000 miles worth of blood vessels packed inside your body. Very, very important that they have the ability uh, to be resilient, meaning that when you need more flow, faster flow, no problem. They have the capacity to handle it. Um, this is actually a function of stem cells because vessels, blood vessels get hard and less, uh, more rigid uh, as we get older. So it turns out that eating black raspberries kept the blood vessels resilient and able to adapt to situations, um, the different situations uh, that they're required to. All right. Second fruit. Blueberries. These little blue wonders may be small, but don't let their size fool you. Blueberries are packed with antioxidants, especially a powerful group called anthocyanins. According to Dr. William Lee, these compounds give blueberries their vibrant color and their incredible ability to promote stem cell regeneration in the body. Now, blueberries, as I mentioned, have anthocyanins, the same dye as black raspberries, and researchers at Cornell University looked at whether eating blueberries would have an effect on stem cells in your muscle. That's really important, right? Because um, uh, muscles need to be built. And so what these researchers did is they recruited uh, women who were aged 21 to 40, all right? And they gave them 30 grams of freeze-dried blueberries. What's 30 grams of freeze-dried blueberries? That's about a third of a cup, okay? So think about the measuring cup in your kitchen. A third of a cup is nothing. It's like anybody can eat that. They That's what these women ate every day for six weeks, all right? And the researchers collected their blood during the six-week study. So before they got anything, at time zero, at a month out, uh, uh, for week four, and at the end, two more weeks at week six, just to see what's going on with the stem cells in their blood with blueberry eating. And what do they find? They, the researchers found that eating blueberries, just a third of a cup a day for six weeks, could improve the muscle stem cell uh, numbers by 40%. Wow. 40% increase by eating just a third of a cup of blueberries. Um, and these uh, stem cells were much more resilient to stress in the body, okay, which is a good thing. Now, the researchers were actually looking, uh, these were yellow men, by the way, I was telling you just about uh, just now, 21 to 40. Now, when the researchers looked at the same effect in older women, um, 60 to 79, okay, 
they did not find that the blueberries could do the same thing. So there's something about blueberries in younger populations, helpful for some cells, but for uh, people uh, older than 60, the women did not actually have that same benefit. Now, the muscle stem cell, which was increased by blueberries, is super important because it can actually show you can help, help contribute to muscle regeneration in young women. All right. So when you do clinical studies like this uh, and you show that they work, all right, and you can measure the, stem, the increase in stem cells propped up by the food uh, in, in uh, the clinic, now you got to go back into the lab to try to figure out exactly what it's doing and what the benefits are at the molecular and cellular level. Um, uh, that's actually ongoing work right now, but blueberries actually increase your uh, uh, stem cells if you are um, younger, okay, and you can get a bit. Dr. Lee explains that anthocyanins play a crucial role in protecting the body's cells from damage, but more than that, they actually help stimulate the body to produce new stem cells. These stem cells are key for repairing tissues throughout the body, particularly in the heart and blood vessels. That means that regularly eating blueberries can support cardiovascular health, keep your arteries flexible, and aid in tissue repair after damage. What's even more impressive is that blueberries don't just protect your heart, they can also help with brain health. Studies show that the same compounds can enhance brain function and even reduce the risk of age-related cognitive decline. Strawberries. Third food, strawberries. All right, I want a berry theme on uh, kick here right now. We got your black raspberries, you got your blueberries. Can't leave out the strawberries. Strawberries are one of my favorite. Uh, foods, you know, there are places that grow strawberries, like in Europe, if you go to um, uh, certain cities in uh, Europe, and you can smell strawberries they are selling at the market from a block away. They are so ripe and fragrant. Now, let's talk about a fruit that's not only delicious, but also incredibly powerful for your body, strawberries. These vibrant red berries are packed with nutrients and antioxidants. But what really sets them apart is their ability to support stem cell regeneration and repair. According to Dr. William Lai, strawberries contain a potent compound called physatin. Physatin has been shown to stimulate the production of stem cells in the body, particularly aiding in tissue repair and regeneration. This means that regularly consuming strawberries can help your body heal itself more efficiently, whether it's repairing damaged tissues or promoting healthy aging. Plus, strawberries have incredible anti-inflammatory properties, which further boost your body's natural healing process. Strawberries have a bioactive called elagic acid, and elastic acid can help to restore neural stem cells, and they can actually promote neuroregeneration. Neuro meaning nerves. So nerve stem cells for nerve regeneration. Amazing. Okay. Now, there's research that's been done by scientists from Minza University in Beijing and the Shanghai University of Engineering Sciences. They were looking at elastic acid, which is found in strawberries, and found that elastic acid, the, the same stuff in strawberries, could stimulate stem cells to protect the brain after brain injury in lab studies, okay? So brain injury, study in the lab, you would use elastic acid found in strawberries. The elastic acid would stimulate stem cells to protect the brain from injury. Now, what did they, what did they, how did the elastic acid work? Remember, I'm telling you, when you actually go to the lab, you can get down to the nitty gritty details. The elastic acid, which is found in star in strawberries, work by stimulating nerve stem cells, neural stem cells, to help to regenerate the brain. All right. Now, if you want to get more elastic acid from the strawberry, I encourage you to buy organic because it's been shown that organic strawberries will have more elastic acid. All right. Elastic acid is produced by the strawberry to heal itself. Um, and in organic growing conditions, it's got all the little bugs nibbling on the leaves and the stem. So it, it's going to get injured and it needs to be able to heal itself. Whereas if you spray it with pesticides, there's less stress on the plant, not as much natural nibbling, so it doesn't need to make. So there's so many thing, good things that you could do with strawberries. I like to eat strawberries alone. Um, if you want to actually make a really nice flavor combination with strawberry, try taking some fresh mint, slicing it up, and serving it with the strawberries. Those two flavor combinations are amazing. All right. And then another way that I think can really light up a strawberry to get you some extra help is to add aged balsamic vinegar to it. All right. Vinegar contains acetic acid. Acetic acid improves your metabolism by preventing fat cells from getting bigger. And uh, strawberries are got elastic acid, also good for uh, metabolism. And studies have actually shown 
in uh, people who are eating strawberries, you can actually shrink the waist uh, diameter as well. So here you go, uh, one of these uh, great berries that actually can help stimulate neural stem cells, neural regeneration, including in the lab, it works in a brain, which is quite remarkable. Right? If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more health tips, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. Let's all start nourishing our bodies with these amazing fruits your stem cells will thank you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.